rapture of Jesus Christ is sooner than you think. There's not much time left until Jesus comes back for his church. The Bible says in Matthew that when you hear of rumors of wars and pestilence and famines, know that the end is near. And if you look at our world today, you see all those things are literally coming to pass. Look at what they just announced. A new one world religion where all religions worship the same God. That is literally deception and it's putting towards the battle of Armageddon. But we're going to teach you in this video how you can prepare yourself and be ready for the rapture of Jesus Christ. In Matthew 25, the Bible talks about a story of 10 virgins, five wise and five foolish. The wise had oil, which represented the Holy Spirit. The unwise had no oil, meaning they didn't have no fire. In this hour, you cannot afford to let your fire go out. You have to get rid of those leaks in your life that drain God out of you. You have to begin to fill yourself with the word, fill yourself with prayer, fill yourself with God's presence through worship because the days are short. Why do you think the enemy has been attacking you so hard and your family? It's because the Bible says in the last day, men will be lovers of themselves instead of lovers of God. Families will begin to turn against each other and their hearts will be darkened. The Bible says that God is love and he who dwells in love dwells in God. God is his word. So he who dwells in the word dwells in God and you need to let the word of God inside of you so that it can begin to transform your heart so that you can express that love to other people. The time is short, saints. We have to go and tell people that Jesus is coming back soon and he loves you and he wants a relationship with you. So give your life to Jesus today. He will save you. He will set you free. And all you have to do is call on his name. And if you want to call on the name of the Lord Jesus today, you want to give your life to Jesus, you want him to come into your life, then I want you to believe and pray this prayer after us and say, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. I believe. You are the Son of God that raised from the dead, and you're coming again for me. Thank you, Lord, for dying for me in Jesus' name. If you prayed that prayer, type amen. I prayed in the comments. Also, follow our page. And look at this. That's fire, man. God created that, man. And look at this. Yes, sir. We just dropped some new Christian merch, so you can go and check out the link in our bio. We love for you guys to be a part and sow a seed into our ministry by copping one of our new shirts and our new hoodies. God bless you.